little kitty. That's a nice mask. Oh, so this is the reason you were hiding your face. You got pimples. Oh, I can feel your pain, little kitty. But this is a process we all go through in our lifetime. Hey, friends, I'm sure just like little kitty, chances are pretty good that you two must be having some acne and must be feeling embarrassed because of it. So, in today's episode, let us explore the embarrassing world of these unwanted guests and burst the secret behind the question, why do we get pimples? Zoom in! Pimples, also known as blemishes, blackheads, whiteheads, zits, etc. is a common part of puberty as almost 8 out of 10 teens suffer from it, as do many adults. But I know that when you're looking at a big fat gross pimple on your nose in the mirror, it isn't easy to deal with. And you feel like hiding yourself from the outside world, running into the deepest forest, or climb the highest mountain so that others can't see you. But the good news is that for most people, acne goes away almost entirely by the time they are out of their teens. But the most disturbing question is, why do we get pimples in the first place? Well, pimples occur due to the hair follicle in your skin that contains sebaceous glands, also known as oil glands. These glands make an oil called sebum that comes on the surface through the pore and lubricates your hair and skin. Generally, the sebaceous glands make the right amount of sebum. But as you hit puberty, the body begins to grow and hormones stimulate the sebaceous glands to produce more sebum. As the glands produce sebum inside the pores, at the same time, new skin cells are continually growing as well, shedding the outer layers of skin. Sometimes, these dead skin cells are not shed and block the pores, resulting in accumulation of the extra amount of sebum and forming a bump around it. And as sebum provides food to bacteria, they begin to build their colonies in it and start to multiply causing an infection. So our body quickly reacts and asks our immune system to send help by sending blood and immune cells to fight it. And the blood turns the infected area red, whereas the immune cells attack and kill the bacteria, resulting in swelling and formation of a pimple. In most cases, right before an important event. Trivia time! Did you know that squeezing pimples does more harm than good? I know it's hard to resist the urge to get rid of those undesirable bumps on your face. But popping your pimples can push the bacteria deeper into your skin, worsening the condition and leading to more redness and irritation. So it's better to leave the pimples to complete their cycle naturally. Also, here is another fascinating thing to know. A population of 1200 Kitwin Islanders in Papua New Guinea reported no acne at all. And it was the same case in the Ayak tribe in Paraguay. Researchers think that this may be due to their diet, which is entirely free from refined sugar and processed foods. It's question time! Today's question is, what is the other name for sebaceous glands? Do write your answer in the comment section below and hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't yet to be a part of the Peekaboo Kids Cutesy Beautsy family and get a chance to get it featured by the end of our videos. So, here are the winners of the previous episode. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out.
Oh, never mind. Hey, kids. You liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell. So you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you.